<laughs> Bad memories make the worst dreams. A genius of my caliber needs sleep to keep his brain in gear. Wait. That research from my youth. Yes, now I'll show you light. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Rye Flawless here bringing you another Flawless Clips video. This time featuring the demo of Mega Man 11. And make sure you stay tuned for the end of the video, because I'm going to do a short review on it. So without further ado, let's go check out the clip so you can see what I saw. Alright guys, here are my thoughts on the game. It's a fun 2D platformer. Um, I would have preferred they do it as a 16-bit game instead of the, the 2.5D, but it still plays like a Mega Man game. It still looks like a Mega Man game. Um, all the classic stuff is there. I do feel like they uh, went for putting the difficulty in the platforming versus the um, enemies. Except for in the boss battles. Um, they add a lot of good things. Different difficulties. Um, uh, including if you go on the most basic mode. Um, you can't die by pitfall. So, And it gives you infinite lives. Because some of the platforming is hard. And you know, I, I feel like you know, if you're just starting the game. Or you haven't played a game like this before. That's actually really good. They did the same thing with... Uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze with uh, Funky Kong. You can't die by falling. So I get what they were doing here. Um, and, you know, I'm not a huge fan of the different forms that you can be. But to be honest, there's different forms in Mega Man X. So it had to be in this one. I definitely preferred using regular Mega Man. And you, I'm sure you saw that in my clips. Um, I do like the double gear system. I feel like in some of the platforming, it, it's geared to use it as well as find the boss. I feel like the power one is geared to use, but the slowdown time definitely felt necessary in some of the platforming. 
especially when like the grinders were following after you and you had to kind of like puzzle platform through the stuff so i think it's a good game i think it's a good fit for the switch the only thing i could say i'd like a little bit more is having a true d-pad so i would actually suggest playing this on a pro controller but yeah that's my thoughts on the game all right guys thank you for watching Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. You're all flawless, and I'll see you next time. Bye.